Hi guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Thomas Wooden Railway Trees on the Track set, or excuse me, Destination. I got this for $35 with several other Thomas items in my uh, latest Thomas haul, and you can see that in the Thomas haul of the month for August of 2019. There's a link in the description. Anyway, after this look at the box, let's open this item. Now, when you open it, you'll notice that on the side, or on the front there, it says, Thank you for choosing Learning Curve. They really cared about the customers when you purchased these items back in the day. And there's a Thomas book that we'll take a look at that in a second. And everything's packaged very nicely. It's nice and tight. Everything's nice. You know, it's not going to get damaged inside the packaging here. Very cool. Alright, so as promised, let's take a look at this booklet. This is just like a wave of nostalgia that washes over you when you see this. Seeing accessories and trains and, and cars and things that I saw when I was a kid at the store makes me, you know, want to go back to those days. Um, and the sad thing is, like, you see new on a lot of these items, and this was over 15 years ago? 16 years ago? So yeah, uh, there's some battery-powered... Uh, engines there with cars and of course James with his tinder and then just little accessory packs. I wish we'd, they'd bring those back in today's um, sales and this is what drove collectability and sales. If Mattel would go back to something like this um, I think they would realize you know this is how you get sales. You give all of these accessories all of these cars and you want to build these worlds of your own and just make Thomas whatever you want it to be and that's what's really cool. Up there they have the log loader which always reminded me of Lionel and then the sawmill of course too and uh, there's the barrel loader I love that destination my absolute favorite destination as a kid was the grain loader and grain car I remember that so much as a kid that was my favorite there's the coal loader too flipping around to the back not the most interesting side but you do have bridges and tunnels and this was all the track that you could purchase for Thomas Wood Railway as a kid I never got to collect one railway number one because it was so expensive and number two because I didn't like how they didn't run um, I love the accessories but I love Trackmaster because it was motorized uh, and I loved watching the trains run around and all the action features they had on those. Here's some of the sets too. I really like the box sets, especially the Thomas container set there. Really nice because those actually were made to fit on the play tables. On to the actual destination, you'll notice here it's really, it's kind of small, but that's okay. Um, these trees are actually removable, which surprised me, as well as the sign, and they just kind of sit in place, but they're, they're in there enough where it's not just going to fall off if you pick this up, which is cool. Here's a view from the front. I like that nice wavy design, of course, clickety track, uh, clickety clack track design. You'll notice this grass printing on the side, which makes it look really nice, makes it feel very, very classic. Now that we've seen an overview, let's take a look at how this destination works. Basically, you bring your engine up to the end of the destination, and then you take that danger sign and you push it. And the trees fall over. It's very, very cool. Now it's an easy reset, just slide the sign back up and pick up the trees. And let's say you want to have your engine stop in the middle of these two trees. Maybe they stop because they see something on the line or thought they did. You move that sign again and your engine's trapped. This would be a perfect time to bring in a breakdown train, which I unfortunately don't own yet, maybe someday. But still, those trees are easy to reset. You can send Thomas on the way and this also works if you move the sign the other way. However, the sign was giving me a lot of friction that way, so I don't recommend that. Anyway, though, you can see it's a quick, easy reset. All in all, this is a great destination. I don't plan on using the action fit feature all the time. Um, I will mostly just be using this on my layout to add some scenery. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this item in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.